Hello, this is Furry Murray 7. I'm going to show you how to win Nine Men's Morris. Remember that you can click the purple buttons at the top to skip ahead to the tip that you want to learn about. Now, the reason why they're numbered 5 through 7 is because numbers 1 through 4 are in my previous video here. Nine Men's Morris has many of the same strategies as Six Men's, so if you want to learn about the basic strategies, click here. However, I don't really have time to go over again everything that I said in the previous video. So, click here for the basic strategies, but there are three extra strategies in Nine Men's that don't really apply to Six Men's. So, thank you, like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. Now, if you're playing the PC version of the game, this first tip may, might not apply to you, and if it doesn't apply to you, I'm very sorry to hear that. But if you're playing the Xbox or the PS3 versions of the game, you need to place your first two pieces on opposite corners of the outside square, which means you're either going to move your first piece here and your second piece here, or you're going to move your first piece here and your second piece here. As long as they're on opposite corners of the outside square, you're just fine. Now, when you place your first piece, you're good to go with placing your second piece as long as your opponent does not place any of his pieces on the corners of the outside square as well. And if you're good to go, then you're good to go to place your second piece. Now, since my opponent did not place his first piece on the outside square, then I can place my second piece. So now, after you place your second piece, what you're basically just going to do is you're going to prevent your opponent from getting mills until you don't have to block him anymore. And usually what will happen is your opponent will either get tired of you blocking him, and he'll go somewhere else, or... He may even open you up for a double take. Now at this point, I'm really, really hoping that my opponent overlooks this little space right here so that I can form a mill. But even if he doesn't, all those corner pieces that I placed earlier are really starting to pay off now. Because they're opening up doors for all sorts of double take positions that I can set up for myself. So no matter what happens, I'm still good to go. Now as you can see, my opponent did not take the bait and move a space there, but even if he did move a space there, that's okay, because I have at least two other spots that I can use to set up double takes from. Here and here. You have to remember that the uh, the AI does not make the same moves over and over, so your screen at this point may look a little different from mine. But you need to watch your board and notice all the spots that you can set up a double takes. <clears throat> now remember, you have to form double takes by basically centering your pieces around a corner. Unfortunately, that's also how the opponent uh, sets up double takes as well. Throughout the game, sometimes it's better if you go through the game slowly and ask yourself, what would happen if? For example, what would happen if my opponent were to place a piece right here? Well, for one thing, he would ha end up having a double take situation. So, one thing's for sure is that when I place my piece, I want to strategically take a piece so that I can prevent my opponent from getting a double take. So when I uh, take the piece, I'm going to take this corner piece to prevent my opponent from doing a double take. Now the next piece I wanted to take was the piece on the top of the inside square because I didn't want my opponent to get three uninterrupted pieces. But the piece on the bottom square is blocking a potential double take situation here. So if I take that bottom space, I can open up another potential double take situation.
For my final piece, I need to make sure to interrupt these three inter uninterrupted pieces, because I cannot allow, allow my opponent to have uninterrupted pieces. So I need to place a space there. Now, here comes the really fun part. This is the part where you have to spam your mill. Spam it as much as you can. Just take one of the pieces from your mill and move it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth as many times uh, as it takes. Uh, you need to take... When you do your takes, you need to take your pieces strategically because your opponent is going to try to block you in so that you will be unable to move your pieces back and forth. You need at least two uh, pieces that are free so that you can move them back and forth so that you can continue to uh, do your spams uh, without getting interrupted or getting blocked in. Now, when you're spamming your mills, you need to be careful. Don't get carried away because you have two options right now. You can either reduce your opponent down to three pieces and allow your opponent to fly and at that point it will be a living hell to try to win the game uh, because he's just going to fly all over the place. Your other option is to get your opponent down to only four pieces so that he can't fly. Now what your objective is, instead of taking any of his pieces, you're going to block him in so that your opponent will not be able to make any more moves and you will automatically win the game. Since I have nine pieces and my opponent has only four, it's going to be pretty easy for me to do this. Now if you've never won a game by uh, making your opponent run out of moves before, it's going to feel a little weird at first. Um, you may have to uh, use your brain power a little bit and figure out a way to block your opponent in without getting three in a, wo a row. Because if you get three in a row, you'll be forced to take uh, one of your opponent's pieces, and then you will allow your opponent to fly. This game will be finished a lot faster and a lot easier if you do not allow your opponent to get down to three pieces. Just start blocking your opponent in. <clears throat> Even if you have lost a couple pieces by now, you should still have enough pieces to block your opponent in. Granted, it may take a little bit more brain power, but you should still be able to figure out a way to win Thank just you. like I did I by I blocking your opponent soon. in. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if this video helped you at all, even if it only helped a little bit, uh, please support me by subscribing, uh, sharing my videos on uh, Facebook and Twitter, and uh, please sure to stay updated because I post uh, videos just about every day. So, thank you very, very much. This video is part of TGN's Way Movement, a career path in video. For more info, visit TGN.TV.